Yet you have robbed me. In what way have we robbed you? You robbed me in tithes and offering. So when you don't give your tithe, remember you are a robber or a thief. But today we can find the fix. And the fix is Jesus. That we surrender our life to Jesus Christ. Completely surrender. And God will continue to do what He only can do. So, number one, finding a direction. Number two, coming closer. Number three, we remove you. When you give your time, you are removing the title of being a thief or robber. Hallelujah. And you will restore your position in the eyes of God. Why? Because you believe the direction is so deep. And you commit, you are coming closer, regardless of the face and the eyes of people that they knew you when you were there. I'm talking about New Methodist Christian yeah, Fellowship or any other church. People know you. When one time you are on fire for God and something happened, you slide into the world. After one year, two years, three years, or five years or ten years, then you decide to come back. Don't worry about what the people say. Because the Lord is waiting for you. The Lord is waiting for somebody this afternoon. Then you're going through a rough time of your life. You don't know where to start. You don't know what is the solution of the things that you're going through right now. I know the solution. Surrender your life to Jesus Christ. The Bible says when someone is in Christ, he's a new being, he's a new person. The old things have gone and the new things have come. My friend, I see the process is very simple. You just have to take your part. You just have to take your position. God will prepare everything for you. So, removing of the word thief, he said it himself, will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. In what way have we robbed you? You robbed me in tithes and offerings. Hallelujah. What belongs to God must go back to God. 